Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel Diaz Color World. In today's video, I will show you how to use this printed decoupage napkin papers. Here I have a cake base with me. As you can see it is bit strong and thick. So I thought of reusing it by converting it into some home decor piece using this decoupage napkin papers. So let's start making it. And the first step would be applying gesso on the cake base. So here I'm applying the gesso with the help of brush. You can also use a sponge. Once you are done with the first coat, you can go for a second coat of gesso for a smoother surface. And then you can let it dry completely. This is the printed napkin I am going to use today. Each napkin has four designs. As I require only one design, I would be cutting this design out of the napkin. As I have cut this design using scissor, the edges are straight. To give more natural look to my art, I would like to make this napkin edges a bit uneven. For that, I am taking a brush, then dipping into the water and marking on the edges. Then I am tearing off the edges slowly. Please remember that you will not directly stick this napkin paper on the base. You have to remove the two ply and use only the printed side of the napkin. Here is my decoupage tissue paper and it's ready to use. For this purpose, I am using Mod Podge glue. First apply glue only on small portion then stick the paper. You can use fan brush to avoid wrinkles and bubbles on it. Continue the same procedure and stick the paper slowly and carefully. Once you are done sticking the napkin, apply Mod Podge glue all over the napkin and let it dry completely. Now the next step is color blending. I am using this light pink color and to get this desired color I have mixed a white acrylic color with little amount of orange and pink acrylic colors. Now I am applying the color with the help of sponge around the napkin.
bit more colors into my art. I am putting few polka dots of white and black color with the help of dotting tool. You can also use toothpick to make these dots. Once you are done with your work, don't forget to apply Mod Podge glue all over the design as a varnish and then allow it to dry completely. Now it's dried completely and I am using the jute rope to stick around the base with the help of glue gun. I have added the jute rope around the base to give it little more attractive look and also made a hook for fixing it on the wall. That's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed watching this video and if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.